is the NCRT enough? This is a question which has been asked by many students out there. Not just that, the simple question which is, Sir, if I read NCRT alone, can I score more than 90%? There are questions like, Sir, should I buy a previous year questions book? Should I buy a reference book? Should I buy a guide? All of these are the questions which you keep on asking us. But then, what is the answer? Is NCRT enough? Can you score NCRT to get the absolute best marks? That is about 95 percentage. If you say NCRT enough to score, to understand everything, the answer is based on what is your goal. For example, if your goal, if your goal is to score 70 percent, if your goal is to score just 70 percent in your examination, then all you need to do is just read the NCRT and go to the examination. If your goal is to score 70 percent, but if your goal is to score 80 percent, what if your goal is to score 80 percent? If your goal is to score 80 percent, then reading the NCRT is not enough. If you want to score 80 percentage, you need to understand every line of NCRT, remember the every single example of NCRT. That is, just read the NCRT 70 percent, understand every single line, example, formula of NCRT, do the every backside question of NCRT and you will score 80 percent, that is for sure, in your 10th board examination. But the journey, that is, all the way from 80 to 95 percent plus, about 95 percent, that journey from 80 to 95 percent is there, right? That is a little tricky, because if you just read the NCRT and if you just know the concepts, but you do not know to apply them, you do not know the what type of questions you can expect, then you cannot get 95 percent easily. It is possible, but it is going to be the extremely difficult journey. In today's video, I will be breaking down subject wise how much you need to study from NCRT, how much you need to actually study other books. So, let's start the video by saying that I will score 95 percent in my board examination. Let me quickly break it down for you. Let me quickly break it down for you. For example, for example, if you talk about science, if you talk about science in general, 60 percent, 60 percent is always theory and rest 40 percent is numericals. Yes, 40 percent are numericals. Now, the 60 percent and 40 percent numericals are going to be NCRT based questions. That is, every single question there will be from your NCRT. That is, in terms of numericals, only the question numericals, that is, if the examination which you are in your NCRT it says, 0.2 in the exam it will be 0.4 that's all the numerical change will be there in terms of numericals let's break it down even more for example when we talk about biology when we talk about biology 100% is theory yes biology is 100% theory except the 5% law 10% law that is in our environment apart from that 100% is theory and this theory NCRT is the key just read NCRT for biology. Sir, what about chemistry? What about chemistry? For chemistry, 80 percent is theory, 80 percent is theory, rest 20 percent are reactions and numericals, reactions and numericals, where that, those reactions, they will never ask you out of NCRT. All you need to do is remember every single reaction from your NCRT and you are good to go. Now, what about physics? What about physics? In terms of physics, 60 percent is theory, 60 percent is theory and the rest 40 percent is numerical, 40 percent is numerical, 40 percent is numerical here and out of this 40 percent numericals, every single numerical will be from your NCRT, nothing extra will be asked. All you need to do is the change in the number pattern. That said, there will be change in the numerical value, but everything will be from your NCRT only and only. So please, I tell you for science, NCRT is more than enough, more than enough. Now what about sir, maths? That is the burning question. Sir, what about maths? Students, for maths, you should need to remember one thing. 80 percent is numericals, 20 percent is theory for maths. Now, out of this 80 percent numericals, you will get NCRT backside questions 90 percent of the times. But the rest 10 percent is there, right? 
the rest 10 percent can vary when i say vary the pattern of questions can change but it will be within the syllabus it will be within the syllabus but for the 10 percent extra the different types of word problems the upstream downstream problems that you need to study from x separate books so 10 percent you need to rely on other books when it comes to maths 10 percent extra books which i'll be telling you where you can understand them from in the end of the video where you get the books from and next we have social in social 100 percent ncrt complete 100 percent complete 100 percent in social is ncrt nothing will ever be asked nothing has never been asked also out of ncrt when it comes to social then we have english then we have english for english it is little tricky because we have reading writing grammar literature reading and writing especially reading and writing reading and writing it's totally out of syllabus out of ncrt because you have unseen passages yes unseen passages that is not from your ncrt writing part also is not given your ncrt but you had would have thought in your classes that is writing the letter postcard or you might have learnt it but reading and writing you need to develop that skill if you do not have the skill please start to develop it right now start reading some books now what about grammar grammar is a little tricky for grammar you need to buy a small book small separate book for grammar because grammar in your classes which they teach in your classes is again good but you need to solve more and more grammar the more grammar you learn is by practicing more you cannot develop by just by reading you need to practice more so get a small book for grammar to practice it now what about literature literature is again 100 percent ncrt again 100 percent ncrt for literature that is the complete breakdown of your entire syllabus now one question again comes in that is sir is then is ncrt enough at you in the end again it depends on your goal what percentage you're aiming for if you're aiming for 70 percent just read the ncrt understand the ncrt every single example you need to know every single exercise you need to know every single activity you need to know every single diagram you need to know then 80 percent but this 80 percent to 95 percent jump is there right there are two things which you need to do the first thing is solve as many problems as possible which we will take care on this channel completely for free to make sure you solve how many problems as possible the other one here is solve pyqs now this pyq solving previous equation will help you not only to know what type of questions you get you will also know how much you need to focus on which question for example maths there are certain subjects which you need to focus more in maths that is certain topics you will understand that by solving previous equations where do you find the previous equations do you need to buy a book for it absolutely not if you go in the description right now of this video you will have a last 10 year pyqs apart from that chapter year chapter wise previous equation is there in the description go download it take advantage of it completely in your preparation that is all the way from the 80 to 95 percentage solve pyqs apart from pyqs there's one thing which you need to do is ncrt exemplar questions and soon we'll be doing that also on the channel now apart from this if you want to score above 99 percentage or even 100 percentage the only trick not a trick the only thing which you need to do here is write test before you write your main examination write as many tests as possible mock test as possible before you go to the examination then only you will secure 99 or 100 percent in your examination write as many tests as possible for that also we'll find a solution for you at diksha vedantu 9th indian students so until next time take care all of you bye bye